friends and welcome back to my channel my name is Tiffany and in today's video we are finally renovating my dining room and getting rid of this old broken beautiful and beloved table for a new table I am so excited thanks for coming along with me let's get started This dining room table has been in my husband's family since the 80s and it is very well loved. I have to tell you, we have had so many beautiful memories around this table, so many holidays, so many game nights, so many Easter egg dying, like there's just so many things that we've done around this table and it's brought us so many beautiful memories. So I will never, ever, ever put this table down. I love it so much. In fact, it's not even leaving my house. <laughs> <laughs> my husband could not part with it, which I knew was going to happen. So it's actually going to go live downstairs in our basement, which is perfect. It will be a great table for uh, games and puzzles and things like that. We finally picked up our new table and I have to tell you guys, I panicked a little when I opened the box because I bought this table sight unseen. I have been searching and scouring the internet for months, probably over a year now. And I really wasn't sure exactly how this was gonna turn out because I bought it, like I said, sight unseen. And when Danny opened the box, I about panicked. It was so gray. And then he flipped it over. <laughs> this is the Cottage Chic dining table from Bob's Discount Furniture. And this is not sponsored, but we were looking for a budget-friendly table that my family could love and still not feel like they couldn't enjoy themselves at the table. I don't want my children to feel like they're afraid to eat or sit or hang with their friends or color or do all those other things. So I wanted a table that was going to stand the test of time and was also going to offer that cozy, comfortable vibe like everything else in my home. And I felt like this table was it. And it was so incredibly great on the budget. Dining room tables are really expensive, you guys, especially wood ones. I wanted something that was warm and inviting in the space, but was also, like I said, going to be great on my budget, and this was it. The table was $8.99, which I know it sounds like a ton of money, and it is. Furniture is such an investment. However, this, I felt, was really good when I was comparing it to all of the other tables out there. So Danny and I moved the table, we vacuumed up the floor, we put together the new table, or Danny did. <laughs> I was actually not home while he did this process and I was getting my hair done and he sent me a picture while I was sitting in the chair and I was just so ecstatic when I saw it all put together. So he's putting on the legs now and getting the table put together. I will say we definitely need to make some other tweaks in the space. It's not 100% done yet. We need a new rug. The rug we had was too small to begin with and it's definitely too small now. I also need to paint the bench. Danny made that bench 100 years ago so that we could all comfortably fit at the dining room table. So my plan is to paint it black like my chairs, my Windsor chairs, the original chairs that went with our old table, I painted them uh, in the color tricorn black like my pantry door and I think it looks beautiful. But here is a look at the table all put together. Can you even, this is stunning. I sent this picture to friends of mine and they thought that this was an antique table that I picked up locally and were floored to learn that it was brand new. So we are living for this table. It it is about seven feet long when it doesn't have any of the leaves in it. However, it does also come with two additional leaves, 16 inches each. 
So the table does get up to about nine feet and that is perfect for our family dinners. We hosted our first Sunday dinner with the new table just a couple days ago and it was perfect. Everybody could sit at the table instead of the kids eating at the island. So I love the distressed look that the table brings. It is brand new, like I said, but it's got all these dings and notches and so it makes it just look lived in and I love that. Nobody has to be afraid. So we're going to take a second now to just give it a quick little wipe down. When I was looking at the table online and reading all of the reviews, which it has almost a perfect rating, I was concerned that the table was going to be soft because it just looked like it was a little soft with all of the dings and everything. However, it is not. It's got a really great protective layer, so it's very, very easy to wipe off and it hides a lot of the mess. Unlike my previous table that we had painted in the color Ballet White, it did not hide anything <laughs> because of the color. Um, but this definitely hides things a lot better. So we're just gonna give it a quick wipe down. One of the things I've been looking forward to the most about having a table that isn't white is decorating it with beautiful runners. And I picked up this ticking stripe runner from Amazon. I'll have it linked for you down below. And it was very affordable and I loved the color. I felt like it just brought a nice texture to the table and having some kind of textile there was something that my previous table was missing. However, I just felt like nothing ever looked right because the table was so white. Everything just kind of blended in and I don't know, it just never felt like it looked right. Plus the table was oval and I felt like the shape kind of didn't lend itself to having a nice runner. Um, I would use a tablecloth and that was definitely nice, but I am thrilled to be able to use a nice runner on this table. So I'm just taking a second here to give it a quick little iron. I love this little ironing board. This is a side note. This is also from Walmart. It folds up really nicely and I'm able to just stick it away in my laundry room. I'll link it for you down below if you're on the hunt. Um, it's one of those things where you don't need it till you do and it's really difficult to iron when you don't have one. So this is very convenient, but I'm just giving this a quick iron. This is completely completely unnecessary. You could also give it a good steam if you wanted to. You could put it on your table without doing this and it's still adorable with all of the wrinkles. That's perfectly fine too, but I just felt like giving it a quick little iron would make it look a little bit nicer and it would be ready to go for the table. There are two ways to use a table runner on your table. You could leave it like this where it isn't completely hanging off the sides, or you can get one that's longer that does hang off the sides. I prefer this one just so that way uh, my family doesn't have to worry about moving it. I'm also going to bring over this antique riser that I picked up at a local antique shop recently. I am obsessed with this piece and I'm also bringing back my crock here full of the beautiful green verbena. I love this. It brings such a bright color for the summer and we're finishing it off with my perfect morning candle that smells like the most delicious cup of coffee. <music> brings us to the end of this sweet little dining room makeover. I know it was quick and short, but it made a huge impact in my home and I could not love it more. I'm so thrilled to have this new piece and I can't wait to make tons and tons of memories here at this table. Like I said, I will link everything for you down below. If I forget, please don't hesitate to remind me and I hope that you'll subscribe and come back for more. I will see you in the next video, my friends. Take care. Thank you.